Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. Natalia with you. Love craft forever. We have product in here to review that I, I was talking about this few weeks back. But then I had to wait for a link because my Amazon link was kind of broken. So I couldn't post this video. I need to get the link. So finally now it's all settled. Uh, I've received this a wonderful, wonderful product that I never have before in my life, never try, but I have to say. So uh, first let me say that this is a product was shipped to me to review from Amazon. If I correct pronounce this word, it would be at coke at coke um the brand. Uh, probably better if I can show you so you can read for yourself because I don't know if I can pronounce correct but this is electric uh, electric yarn winder now I already pre-recorded video last week it's all ready you can enjoy and I have to say that this is such a easy um, machine piece of art I would say because we are crafty people we love everything that we have right such an easy to assemble piece of product and also very easy to use so from messy this kind of yarn we will create this cute little balls like this I had fun to work with it and I hope you will have fun as well to watch with me this video. You will check it out a uh, link. I will post link below under my video in the description box so you can check it out. I believe they have in different uh, colors. Uh, I have in purple. I believe it was a pink maybe even blue um, I cannot recall right now but check it out and I cannot wait to see what else what kind of product they have up there so I will look later on uh, in their website and check what else they have because this little tool such a good help I have so much yarn from before being knit and you know you don't like something you undo and it's all become a messy ball of yarn so now i will create this awesome awesome <laughs> look how cute i love it so my friends enjoy watching my unboxing video and also on the end of this video it, it will be demo we will be trying assemble together and i hope you will like it so if you're a knitter you like to crochet this is maybe something that you're missing out in your craft room stash so yes enjoy watching and please don't forget to comment let me know if you like it and uh, this video if you have this machine already in your possession let me know if you love to use it if you don't use the link and purchase i believe it's a very good and affordable price for it so yeah let's go and start our video unboxing well let's open together and try to figure out how to assemble looks pretty simple and i think it's easy it will be easy to do it so let's check it out i did not open yet by myself so okay let's see on the inside oh that's a pretty purple color and you know what i saw on a website they have like a baby pink so pretty oh no not this one i think this one i believe there is a different colors of them so anyway this one is in beautiful gorgeous purple have to get it okay we have a stand let's see let me put this a little bit on the side so we do have a pretty plastic uh fasten loose so we have on two sides in here righten fasten fasten loose okay then we have electric cord of course to charge we have this kind of piece that will go up front to start to work with our yarn we have okay the main okay so this one is attached together in here already we just have to fasten so this piece go you will have to put uh, attached to your table or desk whatever you have 
Right now we will keep it in here like this. I want to see what else in here. Uh, okay, we have in here a screwdriver and one little tiny screw. So I think it will go for this one piece. Okay, then we have instruction and we have empty box. Um, you know what, in the box there is a magnet stuck. Not magnet, I think it's from the bottom. Okay, so where is another piece then? You see uh, this piece, so two is missing. One of them is this one. It's so like a little tiny rubber piece. Uh, hopefully the other one may be in a bag somewhere. So let's put one back in here and let me check if it's anywhere in the bag. Well, that's not good if it's missing. Nothing here. Uh, because this is what will make it stick to kind of to the table and keep it nicely attached to your table. If it's missing, then I will have to put something else. I'm just looking at right now this box. No, there's nothing in a box. And nothing in here. So I have, unfortunately, one piece is missing, my friends. But that's okay. I will... I will find some little even piece of felt to or little tiny rubber just to cut it out little tiny piece and glue in here so I hope you will get the correct one without anything is missing maybe stuck somewhere in here you know no okay I will be working right now without this piece so what do we have in here This one will be like a moving. Um, this we will put attached to the table. Here is your instructions. So this piece we will put at assemble right in here. There is um, pieces of plastic sticking out. And here we have them in this side. We just have to line up and close. To lose, you just open the other way and pull it out. Okay, so that's what that writing means. Okay, so that's already assembled. Now, the piece that go in here, uh, it's going to, there's a little opening right in here. We will place an up and push it on the inside till we see line up with the screw hole right up there and on the top and that's what we have for our screw we have a two screws in here so one is an extra maybe or why Okay, yeah, I have a two screws. Maybe one is extra. All right, let's place in here. And put together. That's it. And now I just need to find a yarn and we will try to work with it. I will put this to the table. Maybe I will able to attach in here somewhere to the table. Um, yeah, maybe we will try even in this room. But looks pretty simple. Or oh, here is the capacity, whatever you need to know. On the bottom in here is enough upside down. No, here you can read in here in, in information if you're interested in it. Now let me get the yarn. Attach this because we have in here on the bottom on off button and minus and plus so I believe there's a different type of speed in here is that cute looks cute it's not very heavy but I love the color so the link of course will be under my video in the description box check it out 
Now let me get the yarn set up and we will try together for the first time. Before we start, let me point it out on a few details. So I did attach up front of the camera so that you can see better to the edge of the table. Uh, it without the little tiny piece of plastic on the bottom, it's still staying, but uh, in here our on and off and also you can slow down or make it faster, I guess. Uh, this in here, there's a rubber band in here, they will stop your thread without slipping away. The opening in here, that's where we're going to pass our thread and let me just uh, lift it up maybe a little bit camera this way so you can see very good. I have a yarn up front here <clears throat> that I used to crochet and it's not very comfortable because it's a big, <coughs> excuse me, big bulky thing and if you want to work on something small one and just keep kind of not rolling properly right so i put extension cord because this cord wasn't enough for me to plug to the wall so i did use uh for the with the extension cord now what we're going to do it's so simple we place our thread in here on the top just like that now we're going to go through this opening now we will open our spring in here and we have like a little plastic in here we go on the inside of the plastic to secure and the spring will close and not going to let your thread um, to slip away so what we do now i'm going to untangle a little bit so it's not so tight in here and i just have to kind of keep going and make sure to keep this in time with the speed okay just let's try i hope it's working so now i'm going to turn in here on and let's see what happen okay one click it go very slow or it's going to speed up on our own so if i turn more it getting more speedy i guess I'm just going to untangle thread as much as fast as possible and I believe I can make it even more faster if I have to just make sure your thread not tangled so let me turn a little bit more oh yeah definitely it's getting more speedy but <laughs> I need to keep up hold on hold on hold on we're going to slow down a little bit because I don't have enough speed to untangle unless I'm going to throw this on the floor <laughs> okay we're going to slowly work in here all right we will do on a slow speed okay so we can see better and I just literally throw my yarn on the floor so I can untangle in time I love the way it's create this beautiful design how it's wrapping around definitely you can make it faster if somebody help you to untangle your yarn but we are going to do nice and slow first thing that I like a lot it's quiet it doesn't make a lot of noises that's a plus How big we can create? I'm not sure yet. <clears throat> we will figure out together with you, yes. You can make it probably as big as as I don't know how big we can make it. Oh, this is so awesome. I have so many yarn that I used to crochet or knit. And then I don't like something, I keep uh, undoing my project and it's end up on a very messy ball. So I can definitely redo them and create beautiful looking yarn instead of messy one. Oh my goodness, thank you so much for the company who provided this product for me to review. I absolutely love it. And I know that lots of my friends love to knit a crochet sherry you need to have this oh my goodness this is so awesome and i like the purple color 
love it. Let me know if some of you using this uh, yarn too. Love it. It's like you bought it straight from the store. Nice and neat. Okay. That's wonderful. How big we want to create? I don't know. I guess you can create as big as it's fit on this plastic. Um, as, as long this plastic is. I guess that's how big it could be. Okay. Should we stop now or keep going? I'm having a fun in here. All right, okay. Let, let me stop right now for a second. Okay, we are two and a half. And then if you want to pull, you just kind of squeeze a little bit to pull out to get through the... Um, there's a plastic uh, ring in here on the bottom. This one ring, they kind of keeping it tight. And then you have this gorgeous yarn looking look at that i love that wow this is definitely going to be a playground for me because i have so many yarn uh, that it's messy and now i will create this beautiful um beautiful looking yarn i hope you like this little demo and check that out link below under my video and purchase one if you really love what you see right now not sure about if they have different colors or not but definitely look up up there on uh, i believe they have some different colors unless it's some sold out so check it out very very simple assemble very simple use and i love it have a good day everyone happy shopping